And welcome to the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. I have an excellent show for you today. My guest, well, have you ever heard of masterminds? Maybe you have, but today we've got a master of the minds. Ed Llewellyn is a executive coach in the industry today that is literally bringing business owners transformation in their mind to where they want to be. So many business owners, if you're a business owner out there, you're probably watching a show like this hoping to glean some tip, tool, or technique that can help you grow your business or expand it. Well, today I've got a real gift in that area because Ed has a gift for helping people go to where they want to be, not where they see themselves at. That's a real uh, block for a lot of people. I know sometimes they, they say, you know, get out of the way. Well, today we're going to help you. In a sense, get out of the way and get into the path for creating the destiny you want in your business. Ed, thanks so much for being on the show. Glad to be here, Pat. I'm really looking forward to this show because I, I want to know how you got into uh, the, the executive um, transforma transformational thinking mm -hmm. that you do. Well, most of it started back about 1995. I started a consulting business and I worked with a, a bank uh, helping them to be able to recreate their culture taking it from a, a very reactive to a proactive type culture. And I did this using a number of methods and it worked so well that they end up getting uh, purchased by a, a, a national bank. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, one of the largest banks uh, here in the United States. And they attributed a lot of that to the, the change in culture that I was able to create using assessments, using coaching, and just making that transformation and from the mindset of, again, being just reactive to being a very proactive uh, type culture. So where do you see yourself today working with people? I work with a, a lot of executives, CEOs, presidents, owners of companies, and I help them be able to, to make the transformations, kind of like you said at the outset, where they know they can be more, they know their companies can be more, they know their people can be more, and I take out, take those roadblocks away. I, I get those out of the way because they all start right here in the mind. And you've heard the expression where we only use 10% of our mind. I open that up so that their people are using much more of their minds and the resources contained therein. Excellent. So when you, when you talk about working with these different executives and things like that, what do you think is the, the most common, um, I want to say characteristics of the roadblocks? In other words, what causes those things? Where it always feeds back to is are the beliefs a person has. Uh, growing up, we're, we're fed a lot of beliefs from our parents, teachers, police officers, uh, all the people that surround us in our daily lives. And as a young person, we gather up a lot of our beliefs all the way up through about eight, nine years old that become sustained all throughout our life. Right. Those, uh, become, those just grow and expand as we get older because once we have a belief, every experience we have just adds on top of that and so that belief grows stronger. So if a person believes they're only capable of having a $3 million company um, because someone suggested that to them many years ago, that's what they'll be limited to. Isn't that interesting? I, uh, a lot of times I've said that I think adults are kids in big clothing. Absolutely. That emotionally we stop aging at about 13. Is that something that you've seen in working with business owners and such, is that, you know, you think it didn't matter in the eighth grade, but it did? Right. And a lot of people will uh, obviously become defensive if you say something like that to them. So <laughs> I, I just don't approach it from that, from that method. Really, it's just a matter of, you know, who are they now? Who do they want to be? Right. What, what is it that, that they feel is standing in the way? And like I said, 99.99% of the time, I can trace that back to a belief that they have that just just a little tweak many times is all it takes just to, to turn on the blast furnaces, you know, the, the, the overdrive to make that person totally change from, you know, being what they really don't want to be, stuck in this rut, to being everything they can be. Once you've helped somebody like that that's an executive or something, um, how useful is it for you to be able to get in and visit with the mid-level managers, especially if they're a company over 100 employees? That's the beautiful thing about what I do, just like uh, working with that bank uh, I was talking about at the beginning. 
You know, I originally worked with one bank. They liked what I did so well. They expanded what I was doing to all their banks in their entire region uh, that I was working with. And I love that because one of my visions for my company in working with others is the fact that if I can work with those people that have the most influence on, on the entire organization, it just cascades down, creates a better organization all throughout. And so people are able to uh, not just uh, break through the barriers, they're actually able to attain some of their, their real goals and, and such? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's amazing you know, to, to listen to some of the stories of people, uh, and, and I can share some of those stories with you, uh, you know, later on as we talk. Uh, very good. I know that, that one of the things that I'm really impressed with the way that, that you work with others is that it doesn't take a long time that it's a very quick process, that you're able to get in and in a sense get out, and, but have left behind the, the tools in their mind, in their place, that create the results that they want. Is that correct? Absolutely. Uh, what normally takes an executive coach maybe weeks, months, even years to accomplish, I accomplish within hours. That's excellent. Well, today we're talking on the Business Spotlight about uh, mastering your mind. And we've got a master of the mind, Ed Llewellyn. And in just a few minutes, we'll be back with more on the Business Spotlight. We'll be right back.